Welcome to the Communal First Saturdays Online. Statistics show that we are living in a time of greatest apostasy, or, in other words, greatest falling away from the Church. At Fatima, Our Lady said, the dogma of the faith will always be preserved in Portugal. The Fatima message has preserved the faith there. The First Saturday's devotion, an essential part of the Fatima message, is an essential part of the plan to preserve the Catholic faith on earth. So that means we need to practice the First Saturdays as Our Lady requested. This video is a wonderful way to assist you in making the First Saturdays. But in order to fulfill the requests of Our Lady, you also need to receive Holy Communion in a state of grace on the first Saturday and make a confession sometime within the month. Both sacraments are to be in reparation for the sins against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Special note for the sick and homebound. If you are sick and also homebound, possibly a priest or Eucharistic minister can bring you Holy Communion on the first Saturday. If that is not possible, we know from Jesus' words that you can request permission from a priest to receive the required Holy Communion for the devotion on the following Sunday. You may receive the Sacrament of Confession sometime in the same month as long as you receive Holy Communion in the state of grace and have the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary for both sacraments. If the priest brings you Holy Communion, you could ask to confess when the priest comes. Otherwise, you could schedule a priest to come another day. The following program is based on the Communal First Saturdays book with Imprimatur. To fulfill the First Saturdays, each of the following needs to be done in reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. 1. Confession 2. Pray the Rosary 3. Receive Holy Communion and 4. Fulfill a separate 15-minute meditation on the Mysteries of the Rosary in Our Lady's Company. Sister Lucia asked Jesus if it would be all right to go to confession within eight days. Jesus replied, Yes, and it could be longer still, provided that, when they receive me, they are in the state of grace and have the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Act of Contrition My God, I am deeply sorry in my heart for having offended you. And I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because they offend you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of your grace, to sin no more, to do penance, and to avoid the occasions of sin. Amen. Our reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary is part of our reparation to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, who gave her to us at the cross. Your glory proclaim, on earth we your children invoke your sweet name. Good morning. We will now begin the communal order of devotion and liturgy. Please turn your books to page 10. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The child Jesus said to Sister Lucia, Have compassion on the heart of your most holy mother, covered with the thorns with which ungrateful men pierce it at every moment, and there is no one to remove them with an act of reparation. Our Lady then said, My daughter, look at my heart surrounded with the thorns with which ungrateful men pierce it at every moment by their blasphemies and ingratitude. You at least try to console me and say that I promise to assist at the hour of death which all the graces necessary for salvation all those who on the first Saturday of five consecutive months go to confession and receive Holy Communion, recite five decades of the rosary, and keep me company for a quarter of an hour while meditating on the mysteries of the rosary with the intention of making reparation to me. Sister Lucia later asked Jesus if it would be all right to go to confession within eight days. Jesus replied, Yes, and it could be longer still, provided that when they receive me, they are in the state of grace and have the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Intentions for the, for the communal first Saturdays. Please join me in making the following intention for the, follow, for the communal first Saturdays. To go to confession with the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. To receive Jesus with love and Holy Communion with the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. To pray the Rosary with the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. To keep Our Lady company while meditating for 15 minutes on the mysteries of the Rosary with the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. For the grace to practice and fulfill our Lord and Our Lady's request for the five first Saturdays, and to continue to practice them for the salvation of others and peace in the world, that we may intend to make reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary for all the offenses against her, and in particular for the five offenses against her, namely, those sins against her Immaculate Conception, virginity, divine motherhood, and spiritual maternity, children's love for her and her sacred images, that the reparation we make to the Immaculate Heart of Mary may console her and the Sacred Heart of Jesus, that all of our sufferings and the many sufferings throughout the world, past, present, and future, may help to serve as reparation to the hearts of Jesus and his mother, that we may gain any indulgences offered by Holy Mother Church. Prayers before the Rosary, the Fatima Prayers. Let us say the Fatima Prayers together. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon of you for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope and do not love you. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly. I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles throughout the world in reparation for the outrageous, sacrilegious, and indifference by which he is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart, and of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg the conversion of poor sinners. O oh, most holy Trinity, I adore you. My God, my God, I love you in the most blessed sacrament. O oh, Jesus, this is for love of you, for the conversion of sinners, for the Holy Father, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Sweetheart of Mary, be my salvation. Act of consecration to the Sacred Heart of Jesus through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Heavenly Father, you so loved us that you sent your only begotten Son who emptied himself 
taking the form of a slave in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by the power of the Holy Spirit for our salvation. Grant that as Jesus made a total gift of himself in his sacrifice on the cross, we may make a total return of ourselves to you through the sacred heart of your Son and with the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Loving Jesus, grant that we may renew our personal consecration to you this day, a consecration that began with our baptism. By that same baptism, we acknowledge that we are totally yours and all we have is yours. Help us, loving Savior, to renew our baptismal promises, to reject Satan, to reject sin, and to profess the Catholic faith no matter what the cost. May we serve you by our baptismal anointing as priest, prophet, and king through the intercession of the maternal heart of your mother. You have given her to us as our own, that we may offer to you a perfect and immaculate heart. Loving Mother, we entrust to your immaculate heart our entire being, body and soul, and all that we have internal and external. Through your maternal mediation and by the grace of the Holy Spirit, join us to the heart of your Son, so that through him we may come to the Father. Loving Jesus and Mary, grant that we may also fulfill your request for the first Saturdays. In this way, we hope, by the grace of the Holy Spirit, to obtain world peace and the salvation of souls, including our own. Amen. Act of reparation to Jesus through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Most Holy Virgin Mother, we listen with grief to the pleas of your child concerning your Immaculate Heart, surrounded with the thorns placed therein at every moment by the blasphemies and ingratitude of humanity. We are moved by the ardent desire of loving you as our Mother and of promoting a true devotion to your Immaculate Heart, especially by these communions of reparation. We therefore kneel before you to manifest the sorrow we experience for the grievances that we've caused you, and to atone by our prayers and sacrifices for the offenses which have pierced your heart and the heart of your Son. Obtain for all of us the pardon of so many sins. Hasten the conversion of us sinners that we may love Jesus and cease to offend the Lord who is already so much offended. Turn your eyes of mercy toward us, that we may love God with all our hearts on earth and enjoy him forever in heaven. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Hail Joseph, shadow of the Father, guardian of the Redeemer, and protector of the way that leads to and through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your true spouse. Please ask the Father to give us efficacious graces through the heart of Jesus and by the Holy Spirit. Obtain by the intercession of the heart of Mary that we may faithfully fulfill Jesus and Mary's request. Please present our offerings to and through the Immaculate Heart of Mary in reparation for the sins which have offended her and her son. Inspire us to fulfill and spread the first Saturdays everywhere so that many souls will be rescued from sin and be brought to eternal life. Grant also, as you bless the world at Fatima with the child Jesus, the Lamb of God, you bless us and help us to build and maintain the civilization of love and peace which Our Lady has promised as the victory of her Immaculate Heart. For you are the faithful and wise servant whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time. He set you over all his possessions. Thus we too wish to be entrusted entirely to your care as members of your household for the honor and glory of the hearts of Jesus and Mary. Amen. 
Prayer for protection of conscious rights and religious liberty. Father, we praise you and thank you for your most precious gifts of human life and human freedom. Touch the hearts of our lawmakers with the wisdom and courage to uphold conscious rights and religious liberty for all. Protect all people from being forced to violate their moral and religious convictions. In your goodness, guard our freedom to live out our faith and to follow you in all that we do. Give us strength to be bold and joyful witnesses. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Invocations of the Patrons of the Communal First Saturdays. St. Michael the Archangel. St. Mary Magdalene. St. Dominic. St. Catherine of Siena. St. Thomas Aquinas. St. Anthony of Padua. St. John Mary Vianney. St. Padre Pio. St. John Paul II. Saints Jacinta and Francisco. All you angels and saints of God. Please turn your books to page 15. We will now pray the rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The First Luminous Mystery The Baptism of Our Lord Jesus shows his humble heart by accepting baptism so that he would prepare the way for our baptism with water and the Spirit. A voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy and the renewal of their baptismal promises. The Second Luminous Mystery The Marriage Feast at Cana The heart of Mary is moved with compassion for a married couple and those who did not believe. The mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy and the grace of commitment. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the gospel. Mary ponders the message of her son in her heart. Jesus said, The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy and conversion. The Fourth Luminous Mystery The Transfiguration of Jesus Christ From the love of his heart, Jesus reveals himself in a foretaste of his resurrection and offers a glimpse of his glory to be seen in the beatific vision. A voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy and truth. The Fifth Luminous Mystery The Institution of the Holy Eucharist The Eucharist is the greatest gift of the loving and merciful heart of Jesus. This same heart, is truly present in the Eucharist to whom we offer Mary's heart. Let a man examine himself, and so eat of the bread and drink of the cup. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy, and reverence for the Holy Eucharist. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that meditating on these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The holy sacrifice of the Mass is offered in reparation for sin. The Communion of Reparation To fulfill the first Saturdays, one should physically receive Holy Communion on the first Saturday. In any case, we can all make an act of spiritual communion now with the intention of receiving Holy Communion in reparation to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Special note for the sick and homebound. If you are sick and also homebound, possibly a priest or Eucharistic minister can bring you Holy Communion on the first Saturday. If that is not possible, we know from Jesus' words that you can request permission from a priest to receive the required Holy Communion for the devotion on the following Sunday. You may receive the Sacrament of Confession sometime in the same month as long as you receive Holy Communion in the state of grace and have the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary for both sacraments. If the priest brings you Holy Communion, you could ask to confess when the priest comes. Otherwise, you could schedule a priest to come another day. Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. I make the intention to receive you sacramentally in the state of grace. Amen. 
Let us recall the angel's third appearance to the Fatima children. He asked the children to make reparation while receiving Holy Communion. Before and after giving them Holy Communion, he said the following prayer. We can imitate the angel and the children by using the same prayer to offer up our spiritual communion in reparation for the sins against the hearts of Jesus and Mary. We can say these same prayers when we actually receive Holy Communion sometime on the first Saturday in reparation for the sins against the hearts of Jesus and Mary. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly. I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles throughout the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrages, and indifference by which he is offended, and through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg the conversion of poor sinners. We may also wish to say the next two Fatima prayers as well. O Most Holy Trinity, I adore you, my God, my God, I love you in the Most Blessed Sacrament. O Jesus, this is for love of you, for the conversion of sinners, for the Holy Father, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The meditation will begin in a moment for those who wish to complete the first Saturdays in a communal form. We will be using the Communal First Saturdays devotional book. Please turn to page 27 to follow along, or you can follow along with the text on the screen. Now, in praise and thanksgiving to the Father for his Son present within us in the Holy Eucharist, and by the grace of the Holy Spirit, we will keep Our Lady company for 15 minutes while meditating on at least two mysteries of the Rosary in an adaptive form of Lexio Divina with the intention of making reparation to her Immaculate Heart. Before and after reading one or more scripture verses, I will ask a question. These questions will be announced out loud three separate times to help us learn. Otherwise, we should ask them silently after each reading. As in Acts chapter 8, Philip guided the eunuch in understanding the scripture. How much more can our Blessed Mother guide us in understanding the scripture? With each reading, we will ask our Blessed Mother who is full of the Holy Spirit to help us understand the scripture. Pope Benedict XVI confirmed this approach by saying, let us now allow her, our mother and teacher, to guide us in reflecting on the word of God that we have just heard. Our meditation will now begin. Hail Mary, full of grace, obtain for us the grace of the Holy Spirit to grasp the meaning of the word of God and to be transformed by it. In keeping you company, please accept our meditation and ourselves in reparation for the sins which have offended your immaculate heart. Let us close our eyes and call to mind that we are in Our Lady's company. Lord, 
Let Our Lady lead us to Jesus. Let us first consider the following words of Scripture regarding the child Jesus. After three days they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Please turn to page 94. We will now meditate on the first joyful mystery, the Annunciation of the Lord, beginning with Luke 126. O oh, Blessed Mother, what does the scripture say? In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. O oh, Blessed Mother, what does the scripture say to us personally? Oh, Blessed Mother, what does the scripture say? And coming to her, he said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Oh, Blessed Mother, what does the scripture say to us personally? Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God.
Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. We will now meditate on the second joyful mystery, the visitation of Mary to Elizabeth, beginning with Luke 1.39. O Blessed Mother, what does the scripture say? During those days, Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. O oh, Blessed Mother, what does the scripture say to us, personally? When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked upon his handmaid's lowliness. Behold, from now on will all ages call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age to those who fear him. He has shown might with his arm, dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart. He has thrown down the rulers from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich he has sent awake empty. He has helped Israel his servant, remembering his mercy, according to his promise to our fathers, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. 
Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. We now continue with passages from Luke 1. Then Zechariah his father, filled with the Holy Spirit, prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has visited and brought redemption to his people. He has raised up a horn for our salvation within the house of David, his servant, even as he's promised through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. salvation from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to show mercy to our fathers and to be mindful of his holy covenant and of the oath he swore to Abraham our father. And grant us that, rescued from the hand of enemies, without fear, we might worship him in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, child, will be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give his people knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins. Because of the tender mercy of our God, by which the daybreak from on high will visit us, to shine in those who sit in darkness and death's shadow, to guide our feet into the path of peace. Now, after meditating on the scripture, what do we say to the Lord in response to his word? Let us pray together with Our Lady. Behold, Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to thy word. Let us pause to pray silently. Now, we contemplate the following question in light of our meditation on the mysteries of the rosary. What conversion of mind, heart, and life is the Lord asking of us? In Mary's company, let us silently turn our loving gaze to Jesus in the midst of the Father and the Holy Spirit dwelling within us.
Now let us imitate the action of Our Lady after receiving of the Word made flesh, as together we say, In those days Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country. Also let us say together, We make our life a gift for others in charity. This concludes our communal meditation in Our Lady's company. We will now pray the litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Please turn your books to page 30. Let us invoke Our Lady in praise and thanksgiving for inviting us to keep her company during our meditation on the mysteries of the Rosary. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, Christ, have mercy on us. us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray Pray for us. us. Holy Mother of God, pray Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, Pray for us. Mother of Christ. Pray for us. Mother of the Church. Pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace. Pray for us. Mother Most Pure. Pray for us. Mother Most Chaste. Pray for us. Mother Inviolate. Pray for us. Mother Undefiled. Pray for us. Mother Most Admirable. Pray for us. Mother Most Amiable. Pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel. Pray for us. Mother of our Creator. Pray for us. Mother of our Savior. Pray for us. Virgin most prudent. Pray for us. Virgin most venerable. Pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of angels, pray for us. Queen of patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of prophets, pray for us. Queen of apostles, pray for us. Queen of martyrs, pray for us. Queen of confessors, pray for us. Queen of virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Pray for us. Queen of families. Pray for us. Queen of peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant unto us all the time of service, that we beseech thee, O Lord, our God, at all times to enjoy the health of soul and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary ever Virgin, when freed from the sorrows of this present life, to enter into that joy which hath no end. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Intentions to gain any indulgences and prayers for the intentions of the Holy Father. Let us make the intention to gain any indulgences granted by the Church for ourselves and the souls in purgatory. Let us pray for the intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father, Father, who art art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now we will have the reception of the Pilgrim Virgin statue with a reenactment of the mystery of the visitation. As we just heard, the action step after the Lectio Divina is to go out and perform a work of charity. After receiving the Word made flesh, Mary did this by going in haste to the hill country to visit her elderly cousin who was with child. Before we begin, let us try to think of the Pilgrim Virgin statue coming from the sanctuary to the foot of the sanctuary as representing Our Lady's journey from Nazareth to the house of Zechariah on a mission of mercy. In those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a city of Judah. And she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the child leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the voice of your greeting came to my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy, and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has regarded the low estate of his handmaid. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who is my done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones, and exalted those of low degree. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his posterity forever. Please present the Pilgrim Virgin statue to the next house. Receive the Pilgrim Virgin statue. And Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her home. As Our Lady brought Jesus into the home of Elizabeth and Zechariah, and by the Holy Spirit, Elizabeth acknowledged the real presence of Jesus in Mary. So now, Our Lady wishes to bring the Sacred Heart of Jesus into our homes and then bring us back to the real presence of Jesus in the Mass. Please turn your books to page 104 for the recessional hymn, Immaculate Mary, 
You may follow behind the procession if you wish. After the Pilgrim Virgin Statue reception, the faithful ordinarily can have the opportunity to receive the brown scapular as a sign of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. This is a reception, not an enrollment into the confraternity. Also, Sister Lucia understood the scapular to be inseparable from the rosary. Since the rosary is an essential part of the first Saturdays, it seems fitting that the brown scapular is made available to those who wish to receive it. Thank you for joining us. Please join us again next month on the first Saturday. Be sure to mark your calendar. If you would like a prayer card to take with you to Mass to help you offer your Holy Communion in reparation for the sins against the hearts of Jesus and Mary, you may download the card from the link provided in the description of this video. If you would like any of our devotional materials or other books, you can visit our store at www.communalfirstsaturdays.org forward slash store. If you would like to receive important updates and related information, please subscribe to our newsletter. We will be producing more videos for each first Saturday, which will provide different readings. Please like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please consider supporting us as we produce more videos. If you can support us, please click on the donate link provided in the description of this video. For more information, please go to communalfirstsaturdays.org or click the link in the description of this video.